All right, so this week, um, left alone, kind of. Um, the wife and kids are in Iowa, back home. Um, I'm stuck up here, so I gotta make meals for myself. And uh, I know a real popular meal with um, single dudes, uh, or single people in general, and it's real cheap, is ramen noodles. And um, I've been so informed by a coworker of mine that ramen noodles are just plain, boring, he doesn't like them, doesn't like the taste because there's nothing added to them. So uh, what I'm going to do today is actually add to ramen noodles and make them better, kind of a uh, gourmet ramen noodles, if you will. So um, we'll go over a couple of things uh, to add to ramen noodles and just to make it better. All right, we're going to start these uh, noodles by cooking up the meat first. Uh, start browning it. I'm going to grab my spices here. And this is just um, beef round for bogolgi. It's like a dollar something a pound. It's super cheap. Um, if you can't find that, just get really thin, like flank steak or um, just like, um, I don't know what it's called, like the little round steaks or whatever. It's super cheap. Cut it up real thin, little pieces. And uh, I'm just going to spice it up a little bit. Start off with a little bit of ginger. I like to spice it up as I'm cooking. Uh, garlic for sure. Love garlic, so. Cover it in garlic. A little bit of onion powder for flavor. A little extra flavor there. And uh, what would my cooking show be without brown sugar, right? Get that on there. Now I'm going to cook it in a little bit of soy sauce and Worcestershire. Gotta give it a pretty good flavor. Uh, I got water boiling for the ramen. Uh, cook, I'm sure everybody knows how to cook ramen. Just cook it according to the package. Or um, you can use uh, rice noodles as well. Um, it's a little bit more. It'll cost you a little bit more. Um, probably be, I don't know, a lot better, I guess, depending on how you prepare the noodles. So I got this uh, water boiling. Add my ramen. Meat's going. Smells really good. That's just, it's a real quick meal too. Uh, this meat really doesn't take very long to cook up since it's so thin. And of course, you know, you want to cook the meat fully. Don't leave any pink unless you like raw meat. Uh, I personally don't. About the only thing I eat raw is fish and vegetables. I uh, got this meat cooking up, noodles boiling, and we'll check back in a minute. Alright, everything's done. Uh, took all of like five minutes to make everything. The beef cooked up real easy, real quick. Um, here's a quick shot of that. And of course, ramen. Uh, it did beef flavor. I like the beef flavor, I guess. Um, you could do any flavor, really. It would probably be good. But um, one thing I like to add to the ramen is a little bit of soy sauce. Gives it just a little ex extra flavor. Um, you can add spices to it, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of ginger. I found that's real good. Um, really just about anything you want. Uh, just spice it up, you know, change, change it up a little bit. Uh, just add the meat to your soup. And because I like being spicy, I'm going to grab my delicious sriracha. It's like the best freaking Asian spicy stuff in the world. Shake it up. Add a little bit in there. 
stir it up, and enjoy. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, leave me comments, uh, any questions. Uh, let me know how it turned out. Um, please share, subscribe, and uh, watch out for my future videos. Thanks. I wake on the TJ Cowboys hang around. Sleeping in the sidewalk with the Burger King crown. Never wake them up. Massive visit to the rooster crows. Vatos vergayos.